What's up everyone, TerraQuake here, and welcome back to our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. In the last episode, we helped Adon get our Pokedex back from Team Galactic, then made our way through Route 214, as well as this small little part of the Valor Lakefront. And we also caught our sixth and final team member, aka Moto Moto, the Hippopotas. And one thing I forgot to mention is that there's a hidden big mushroom somewhere in this grass if you want to you know, spend some time to look for that. Anyways, we have reached the actual town section of the Valor Lakefront, and my game is lagging a little bit. And I'm quickly gonna run to the end. Now, this is actually a little hotel, and this guy's gonna say that, you know, this place is all booked up. However, this doesn't look like a hotel to me, because there's not an elevator, there's not any stairs. So, I don't know what he's on about. But he will heal your Pokemon for free. Now, just outside of it, there's a hidden sweet key. And we're actually going to need to bring that back to this lady who somehow dropped her key and locked herself out of her building. So we got to give that back to her. And then if you follow her inside, she will give you a white flute for helping her out. So yeah, just an easy way to get the white flute, I suppose. And for now, let's head on out. Don't worry about heading to the east right now. This guy's going to say that there is a power outage in Sunny, Sh Sunny Shore City, so we can't even get there. What I do want to worry about is this five-star restaurant here, because there's actually a bunch of double battles you can do in here. If you just answer yes to these people's questions, then they will challenge you to a double battle. So, yeah, there are a lot of trainers for us to battle here, so let's do it, man. Let's freaking do it. And, oh my gosh, their Pokemon are literally... You know, right there in terms of my levels. That is very embarrassing. I can't even lie. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to switch out to Wormadam and Bucky for this. That is probably the best combo. But yeah, towards the end of the last episode, I sort of realized how low-leveled my mons were, which is uh, kind of bad, but it's okay, you know? It is fine. I'm going to try my best not to do any off-screen grinding. If it comes down to the point where I have to, then I will. But, who knows, hopefully I don't. Alright, let's see if we can get a double Oko here. Hidden Power on the Finneon, Water Gun on the uh, Rhyhorn. I really can't wait until we get Surf, which is going to be after we defeat the 5th Gym. But it's just going to be a much better move than Water Gun. For now, it does the trick, though, on Rhyhorn. And, of course, we still have the EXP share on Hippopotas, who's slowly but surely making his way up to the rest of the team. I did not know Finneon got Gust. That is a very strange move for you to get. I mean, what are you gusting with? Your giant tail fins, I guess? All right, whatever. Bug Bite and Return should finish the job. And these people, you know, since they are at a five-star restaurant, they have a lot of money to hand out to you when you get done with the battle. So all of these fights are optional, but I'd recommend doing them because you can get a lot of money, you get some free experience, and there's really not too much else going on with the Valor Lake front. So yeah, and you also have the little hotel to heal at every time your Pokemon get low on health. And I don't know why these people would want to battle you like in the middle of eating. If it was me, I would just want to eat my food in peace, but hey, I'm not complaining. I am down for the extra experience. Okay, let's try and target that Cricketune first if we can. Hopefully it doesn't go for Bite or something. That would kind of screw over my whole plan. And no, it goes for Focus Energy. Thank you very much, you singing, um, oh gosh, what, Cricket, I guess? Yeah, that makes sense. Except we get outsped by Psyduck and nearly killed, but we get confused, dude. Are you kidding? This just happened in the last video when I was going up against a, uh, Kadabra off camera, it literally confused one of my mons with Psybeam, and then it confused my next mon with Confusion. It happened off camera, but just trust me with what I'm saying. Also, I am recording this video right after the last one, so I am still a little sick, as I mentioned in that episode. But it is already, what, part 23 of this series? Kind of crazy, I can't even lie. I feel like we are just flying through this series. Okay, so let's return you, and we'll go ahead and quick attack the stupid Psyduck. Oh yeah, there you go. Take that critical hit, boy. I hope you freaking, I don't know, miss Water Pulse somehow, even though I'm pretty sure it's 100% accurate. Which really sucks. 
But there we go. The only issue with these double battles is that like half of my team is splitting experience thanks to the EXP share. So that's kind of lame. And Uzair hangs on. So this Psyduck will go down. And once again, you just have a lot of like PIs and beauties and gentlemen's gentlewomen. And uh, they're going to hand out a lot of prize money for defeating them, which is super nice. I guess this was this guy is an artist. And, you know, artists, they are uh, pretty rich, I would say, considering their paintings usually go for, like, thousands and millions of dollars. I don't think I've ever been to an art museum, though. So, uh, if you've ever been, let me know how your experience was in the comments section. I mean, I've never been, so I don't really know what it's all about. Alright, so, let's see, let's see. We'll go back up to the little, whatchamacallit, restaurant up here, and... You actually may have seen there that the little sign changed from Valor Lakefront to Route 213. And Route 213 is actually, you know, a route that is past the hotel. There's actually some more trainers and grass to go through. But yeah, Route 213 has some more items for us to get. A uh, new Pokemon that we can find, and I'll get to all of those in a bit. For now, we're going to finish off these last two battles here in the super rich restaurant but man i'm expecting to come out of this place with like a thousand poke dollars well that's not even that much one million poke dollars nah that would never happen also looks like we have someone else pk hexing in pokemon just like commander mars because there is clearly an illegal perugly which is still at this stage in the game kind of op you know i can't even lie and you have seen dude oh my gosh Chat tot, chat tot, chat tot, and your stupid musical note head. I hate you. I really do. All right, well, uh, let's switch to Monferno should do pretty good. And, uh, oh wait, you're still asleep. Um, you know what? I guess I'll stay in. No, we'll go to Nose Pass. Should be able to counter these guys pretty well. We'll eventually be able to just mock punch our way through here and chuck rocks at that stupid bird. Fun fact, I have used Chatop before for a challenge run over on the main channel. And I gotta say, that thing is kind of good. Like, I know it doesn't evolve, but it gets, like, its signature move, Chatter, which is actually kind of strong. And it can kind of hold up on its own for a bit, which is pretty surprising. And it's probably gonna get, like, five Fury attacks, though. Okay, only three. Only three. Just don't go for Sing, dude. That's, like, the one thing I don't want you to do. That would be super freaking annoying. And I should have just doubled up on the Perugly. I don't know why I didn't do that. Oh, well. And you go for Hypnosis. Literally the same thing as Sing. Oh, come on. Like, this is, you know, Pokemon Showdown. We should, uh, we should have Sleep Claws. You know, you can't put more than one Pokemon asleep, my boy. And you have a four story. Yeah, that's something I forgot to mention. I experienced it in the last battle, but because these Pokemon, or sorry, these trainers are so rich, they're gonna love to use four stores on their Pokemon when they're like barely even low on health, which is uh, super annoying. Like, I think the Prugly was still in the yellow there. But of course, a full restore came out. All right, so we're finally gonna kill the fat illegal cat, and then we will give this chat tot one a rock to the face if we could wake up that'd be good also the shell bell it's such a nice item but it also adds that extra little animation which really stinks so it's fine oh and he went for mock punch because yeah it used mimic and of course i don't wake up on the first turn no that never happens you kidding me i probably won't wake up on the third turn here and yeah mock punch isn't gonna do that much considering it's not stab so flame wheel will do over half and we get the burn okay i'll take it more shell bell health coming back to us and we woke up hey good job mario great job my boy also one thing i forgot to mention in the last episode is that i got rid of defense curl on the barrel for yawn i just figured yawn is gonna come in handy more also, I did realize that we already have Yawn on Moto Moto, and I should probably teach it the TM for Dig, which if you missed it, we picked it back up in the Ruin Maniac Tunnel in yesterday's video. By the way, the goal in this episode is to reach the next city, so, you know, we'll get through this last battle and then make our way through Route 213. 
And you have a Pichu and Quagsire. Alright, so I know who I'm doubling up on first. Oh, I forgot Bucky was still asleep. No. And you're going for an X special defense? Really, dude? You think you're like, you know, pro playing us right now? Look at that. Your partner's already dead. Screw you, schoolboy. You freaking nerd. You think you're so smart. And we are still asleep. Oh, come on, the barrel. And now this person has a patch of Risu. That's super annoying. I really could use you waking up here, Bucky. That would be nice. We'll find out if we do. And I sort of forgot that this thing's super effective on us, too. That was not the smartest idea to stay in. And, of course, we're still asleep. And then Quagsire goes for Slam. See, this is why I like Claude Sire better, because... He's just nicer, you know, Claude Sire, such a derpy little mon, seems like it would be a uh, funny mon to hang out with, and why do you have a citrus berry? Really, like, I could sort of under understand the full resource, because, you know, you're rich, but citrus berries, seriously, I mean, hey, I guess it's better than a full restore, and could we please wake up? My boy Bib Barrel must be having some good dreams right now or something, dude. I don't know what is going on with him. He's got to be thinking about, what, building, like, the best dam in the world? Who knows? Come on, wake up on this turn because we can knock out the Pachirisu finally. If not, then you're probably going to die on the next turn. So, hey, you did wake up. Actually, you could still die here, depending on who Quagsire attacked. But you know what? It's fine. You're already level 28. And you go for Slam on Eevee again. Oh, my gosh. Both of us are almost dead. I'm not even going to bother switching out. We're about to go heal up anyways. I'm sorry, Eevee, but I don't really care too much about your happiness. And does that give you guys a hint as to who I'm going to evolve it into? Does it eliminate some options of who I'm going to evolve it into? I don't know. You'll just have to wait and see. And shoot, I shouldn't have gone out into Mario. That was not the best switch. All right, it's fine. We'll go for a return. And that should do it. Now, I sort of forgot how many items there are to grab in this little Route 213 section of this town. And just on the main route in general. So, I'm going to try my best to pick them all up. But we will see how I do. And, yeah, we are now done with this restaurant. I don't think that waiter has anything to say, right? He doesn't give us an item for defeating all of the trainers. Let me just make sure... No, okay, he's just telling you about the place. Okay, so let me quickly heal up at the little hotel slash random building that doesn't look like a hotel. And I'll also, I don't know why there's like a uh, cop sprite as the, you know, receptionist here. Because I'm pretty sure that's like the policeman sprite in this game. Anyways, we're back here on Route 213. And I believe the first item we can grab is from a clown somewhere not in this building. It is maybe by the pool, or is this another item that I'm thinking about? It is another item. It is a pee-pee up, so there we go. All right, now there is a hidden Max Revive, I think right around here, just under the umbrella. That's kind of nice, and I think the clown is going to be in this building down here. Why does my game lag so much? I swear, I've never had that problem with a uh, Pokemon Platinum ROM, but for some reason it's happening in this walkthrough, of course. But yeah, he gives you TM92 Trick Room, which is pretty nice. And anyways, um, we already grabbed the Sweet Key, so we can actually head through the hotel onto the main part of Route 32. I don't think there's a... Yeah, there's no hidden item right there, even though there looks like there could be one. But there are a few, like, shards and pearls and, you know, what else heart scales and stuff for you to grab down on the beach. I'm not going to look for all of those, but here's one that is not hidden, which is nice. And uh, for now, I'm just going to continue fighting some tubers. So those two kids just had a couple of water types on their team. But seriously, where are their parents, you know? Like, they're kind of just running around on the beach all by themselves. A freaking shark could come up out of the water and grab them, you know? Could turn into freaking Sharknado out there. Anyways, I knew one of these fishermen fought you. Looks like it is Fisherman Kenneth over here. Now, I realized it would have been a uh, nice area to bring a Rock Smash along with me. However, I did not get, who is it, like a Machop out of the PC, I think is what I have. Um, because you can get a TM 
by using Rock Smash. Unfortunately, I'll probably just have to skip over it for now. And it looks like Uzair will level up to level 28. Also, I can feel a sneeze coming. Hopefully, you know, it holds off until after this video. And oh boy, we've got a Gyarados coming out. These things are always scary if you don't have an electric type. Not to mention they have Intimidate, which makes it even worse. So I'm not looking forward to this. Come on, just be nice, Gyarados. Yep, there it is, Intimidate. I guess our best bet is probably Hidden Power. We get Outsped too, and Dragon Rage. Oh gosh. Yeah, not gonna lie, this is a little rough. Just a little rough. Because one more Dragon Rage and we're already dead. Also, this is another episode where my PC battery is kind of running low. So hopefully it survives. And you know what? I saw how little damage hidden power did and now I'm just going to skip out the rest of this battle and after that Gyarados he just had a single Remoraid now right here is Mr. Footsteps house and what he'll do is kind of inspect the footstep of whatever your lead Pokemon is and so for example right now it's Bibarel and it'll kind of tell him I don't know somehow like how happy it is towards us or how mad it is towards us so yeah you can sort of just do that and I'm pretty sure if you do it, it gives you like a footstep ribbon on your Pokemon, if I'm not mistaken. Now right here's a Rock Smash Boulder that just takes you to a Honey Tree. So nothing too big there. And then I believe this lady is the last trainer here on Route 213. And already my boy JD wants to get out of my room now after, if you remember in the last video, I just let him in the room. And if you've been to the streams over on the main channel, you would know that's kind of just a trend at this point. Anyways, Glammeow should be pretty easy to knock out with just, oh, a single return. I was going to say two. But yeah, if you can hear him kind of whining in the background, then uh, I apologize. Anyways, right over here is the Rock Smash Boulder that I was talking about to get the TM for Aerial Ace. This guy doesn't fight you. He's just going to talk about how, you know, you can use Rock Climb later on in the game to get up that cliff. And right over here is some grass. Now, I'm pretty sure I forgot to mention... The new Pokemon here on Route 213 include, I believe, Wingle. I want to say this is the first time you can find it. And you can also get the other form of Shellos. So if you if you remember earlier on in the game, you could get um, the pink Shellos. Well, now you can get the blue one. And you can also find a Chatot, which we talked about a little earlier on. And at the very end of Route 213 is this group of berries. And that is it for Route 213. So next time we will be taking on... Pastoria City, as well as the 5th Gym. So for now, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day, and until then, deuces!